All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. It is a nasty day outside, cold, wet, you name it. Don't want to be outside. So we're in the garage here again. So what better time than to install a new uh, thing on the Polaris Ranger XP1000. We're going to put a product from Kimimoto on, and it's going to be a turn signal kit with um, a horn. So it puts you that much more close to being street legal. There's a whole bunch of different things here in the state of Ohio that you have to do for being street legal um, for UTVs. Uh, we don't, we're not gonna make this ex fully street legal, just saying we're not, um, but we wanted to utilize putting on a turn signal kit um, and also have a horn too. So we're gonna show you how to install that today. Um, we're also gonna try something a little bit different and see if we can get it to work. This actual kit comes with the ability to Instead of hooking up your turn signals to the factory um, indicator switches in the cluster panel, it has it to where you actually drill into the interior here and put two little light switches or um, lights. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna try to change that and actually hook it up to the harness that plugs into the back of the instrument cluster so we can utilize those factory um, turn signal indicators. So we're going to see if we can't get that and we'll show you that. So if you do purchase this, um, you can actually be able to utilize that um, if we can figure it out. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open the box and see what we got in here. Um, obviously, we have our instructions. Um, we're going to make sure we go by those. Here's one harness here. This looks like your relays and your all your stuff to quick connect to your actual turn signals. This is going to be your bracket for your turn signals that go on to the steering wheel. So we'll put that off to the side. Here's all your lights and your horn. They're all packaged individually. And then here looks like your long wiring harnesses that go to the actual distributed out throughout the uh, UTV. They are labeled really well, it looks like. So let me open this one up and we'll see kind of what they look like labeled. As you can see, it says front turn signal, rear turn signal. So they're really well labeled. Uh, that'll help throughout the process. Your fuses and your relay, they have it set up to where you actually hook it straight to a battery or a terminal. Um, we're gonna change this to a pigtail. I have a pigtail right here that will hook up to the pulse bar. It just makes it a little easier. So we'll get one of these pulled out. We'll get that wired up. Um, just makes it a little easier and a cleaner look. All right guys, so let's go ahead and put the um, turn signal in or the switch that goes on to the steering wheel. So this part right here, let me see if I can get it in the camera. This part right here goes in the back. You're gonna need to put your little clamp on there and it's going to go right around here all right so we got it started now we're going to go ahead and snug it up where we might want it not fully snug but just to where we can move it around until we get everything else kind of going i might actually move this around here so it's behind I want to make sure that the steering wheel don't get caught on it, but let's just snug it down a little bit and then I'll show you how it kind of fits on here. So there you can see how it's supposed to be. Once again, this is going to be their hazard thing. It'll be going in the back. We just have it snug enough to where we can move it around because now we're going to take the uh, instrument panel off and see if we can't get the indicator switches to work. All right, so I got the wrong size here. Um, so when you pull the instrument, panel off you're going to see right here where it actually goes in and you're going to need to buy an adapt these adapter little pin pieces um, to go onto the wire to actually hook into the, the plug in there so i'm gonna have to order the correct ones the ones i have aren't going to work so we'll wire everything else up and then we'll have to get those here and try to fix that so we're going to do everything else though so we're going to run this right here for the indicator the switches to actually turn the turn signals, horn, and all that in. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. 
We're gonna run that right through that hole and then it's gonna run right through the dash to the other side to hook up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the horn on. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter. You're gonna use a factory screw here or bolt. Get that out. Throw this off to the side. You're gonna take your horn. It's gonna go straight back down in there. There's a little hole here. Get it started obviously with by hand tart. By hand first so you're not stripping anything. And we'll snug it down to where it's even right there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and start um, putting a harness in here. It looks like a jumbled mess right now. But we're going to go ahead and start with the relay switch. Get you a screw because we're going to mount it right here by the other relay that we put in for the uh, front LED light. So we're going to start with that. Then we're going to move on to, well this right here is your flasher. So that can kind of get tucked away for now. Your turn signal switch is going to run through here. So we'll put that up there. We actually might be able to tuck all the flasher up up there too as well. We'll see. I, I don't know. And the indicator switch is going to go in there because that's where we have to order the new pieces to hook up to the instrument cluster. Turn signal uh, lights, we'll probably just keep that in here. It doesn't matter which one you hook to, to go to the back or the front. We'll keep it probably up front here. That way we can, actually we might tuck, we're gonna tuck it up in the middle in the dash there, and then we'll run the wires back through this way. So let's go ahead and push this stuff up in here. Guys, okay, so we got that harness up in the front, but we need to be able to run it to the back. So we gotta take this out. There's, there's, um your little things all along as you can see one here there there on all, on both sides and then there's a tricky one it's actually back here on the passenger side um, but once you get those out we should be able to pull this out to be able to run our wire so we're gonna pull this all the way out so we can run our wire up underneath to the front and then moving to the back guys, you do the exact same thing. Take all the rivets off. You're gonna have to um, watch this here because this is actually connected for the um, 12 volt. So we're just gonna pull it up a little bit here to where we can run the, the wire down through there. So now I just got everything off. Um, lay your harness out because you're gonna to need to make sure you have the correct length. So I laid my harness out, that's for the rear. Um, what we had to do is actually had to push the connector up through here. And let me show you that real fast. Connector come out through here. What we'll do is we're gonna connect our front and our rear. So right here is your indicator switches. Those are gonna go actually over here once we get the pieces in. Here's your turn signal switch, which that'll hook up to the piece right here. It's on the steering wheel. This is gonna be your front um, turn signal. So you'll clip this on one of these. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run these down through the dash and hook up down here to where we can then run to the front and then the rear will hook up and we'll run with the wire harnesses all the way back to the rear. So what we actually had to do was we had to get something hard. So I took an old piece of wire. I took this little basket piece out. Um, that way we could run everything behind because the wiring harness just isn't long enough. Um, so you have to run your front and your rear wire harness up underneath so we can now snap on there's your indicator switch already talked about that but now we can snap on front right here and our rear right here 
And then we can pull them down to where this is tight now. Well, we should probably find out which ones. Well, we know the short ones, the, re the front, which is that one, and the rear is the longer one. So now we can pull these down through here to give us as much as we possibly can. Then we're going to run right through with the remainder wires going to the rear, and the front's going to run up under here under the fender um, to mount in the front. So we're still in the process of running the uh, cable. Well, I wanted to show you what it looked like so far. We just ran it through there, and now we have this here. We're going to run it back underneath the battery there. All right, so I'm done running the rear. It's going to go right through there. You can see the it's on top. We run it back through underneath here. Let me pull this up and show you. Right there on top. Actually, it's back over here. But it'll lay tighter once we pull it snug. Right through here, we're going to run it. Let me kind of show you here. So this here is going to, we're going to zip tie all this up to where it looks nice. But it's going to run right through there, back to the back. And I'll show you where it comes out on the back. Let me walk around the other side here. So it comes up right there, and we're going to run it along that wire, other wiring harness right here, zip tie it up, come up underneath, and then we're going to run right in with the other wiring harness there and split to the left and right. So we're done with all this here, so we're going to put these back and button them all up. So we ran the front, we ran right down through there into the fender here and as you can see where we came up zip tied we ran up here along with the wiring harness zip tied it up and then we have it snugged right there for right now which is right there and we're gonna drill in to the front here probably gonna put it right there and then we'll uh, hook up to that let me show you the other side real fast had to run it across you can well let's I'm run it across there make sure it's not going to catch on anything pinned it up there we're going to drill in the same spot on this left side we went ahead and plugged it up to the pulse bar there and we still have to hook up the horn and then clean all this up so we're buttoning up the inside here we already put all this stuff back all these things here's the indicator uh, light switch um, the way they have it set up is where you could drill into your dash hook up once again I said we we're gonna hook up to the cluster panel to use the indicators that are fact from the factory um, but you do not have to hook these up for this system to work so just know that if uh, you don't want to tap into here and you don't want to mess with the instrument panel um, you don't have to you can just tuck these back in here and everything will still work uh, the same way so that's what we're going to do for today until we get the other piece and then uh, we'll add it onto here so we're going to just tuck this up in here right there in front um, until we are ready to actually install that so let's throw this these cup holders back in we'll put the dash back or I mean the windshield and then we'll, we'll finish up um, cleaning up the front here hook up the horn and then we're going to put the uh, lights on all right so we're going to put these lights right here um, so i'm going to go ahead and measure to get directly in the middle and we're going to mark it with a little uh, sharpie um, on both sides and we'll go ahead and drill it now that we measured we're going to go ahead and drill Always start with a pilot hole. Drill a pilot hole before you go any bigger. All right, so it's gonna be three fourths is what you need to go to. So let me pull this out and show you. On this, we have an actual mark that's three fourths. So we're gonna keep going, but we're gonna go nice and slow so we make sure we don't make it too big. 
So we got that sealed on. You're gonna look at these because they're, they're reflecting a certain way. So you're gonna have to twist them to where they're reflecting out. And you push this right in. All right guys, so we got both the rears in. It's the right side passenger and left side driver's side. Now let's move to the front. Throw that in there. You're gonna take your little rubber piece and you're gonna form it in here first. Just like so. You're gonna make sure the reflector is the right way. So just look at it and you'll see it. It's pretty simple. And you're gonna go ahead and push. Actually, we want that turn just a little bit more. Just like that. That way it's level and we'll push it right in. Just like that. All right, so we got everything wrapped up, got the horn hooked up. It doesn't matter which um, wire goes to the horn. Zip tied all the excess up there. Once again, you guys know how I am with zip ties and making sure everything's clean. Got it onto the pulse bar on the far left. It comes with a extra fuse. So we went ahead and put that in the glove box in a bag, just in case we ever need it. Um, as you can see, we got a relay right there mounted nicely. Um, so let's go ahead and test it out and we'll see how well it looks. You can see the uh, two here in the front. Let me go ahead and turn it on. See the indicators right there when we first turn it on there. You can utilize those. We have to get another piece to uh, get that actually taken care of. But listen here. There's actual an audible. I don't know if you guys can hear that audible noise. So you know they're always on. All right, so we'll just turn the hazards on. All you do is pull that. That way we can show you guys what they look like in front and back with both of them working. So there's your front. They're kind of slow. Maybe we could speed them up. I'm not sure if we can do that, but we'll have to look at it. And we'll show you the back here. Everything ended up turning out pretty well. Um, it was a fairly easy install in total. Um, it just took a little bit of time, a little tedious at, at certain things, but it was not complicated at all. It just took some time to remove some pieces, some trim pieces, that way you could run your wires. So. Yep, turned out really well. We're gonna get some nice testing and show you what it looks like at night as well. Let's go ahead and test the horn. All you do is push this button here, you push it once and you can push it all the way in and it stays. Or you can just, pretty loud horn. Really like that. Here's your hazards in the rear. Let me turn the, uh, Ranger on where the lights are on. So you can see it with the tail lights. Looks really good in the back. Definitely be able to tell you're doing turning. You need to use a turn signal. They're not real bright, but they're bright enough. I'm gonna look and see what they look like with the headlights on. It's hard to capture it with the headlights when there's, you can see them there. Definitely can tell you're gonna be, that your hazards on. Look good. Yeah. I don't think they're overly bright, but I think they're just a good enough that you should be able to see, somebody should be able to see you if you need to turn or need to get somebody's attention. And we'll slip around on this back side over here one more time. Yeah. There you go. Appreciate you guys watching the channel. Hopefully you guys learned something seen something of value 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you later.